Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and I'm happy to announce that there is a new most difficult bracelet aside from the snake belly, and it's called the Labyrinth. As you can see, it looks pretty complicated, and it is. It's reversible, depending on what colors you decide to choose and where you're placing the bands, and it requires four looms a 5x2 setup and about 200 bands in total okay this design was inspired by Sabria Bishop her Instagram is right here she submitted this design to me and I liked it but I didn't like the fact that it wasn't symmetric so I tweaked it Turned it into this, perfected the start and the ending, and this is the final design. So, if you're up for the challenge, continue. Make sure you keep track of exactly which band you are going to loop and which band is on top. Okay, so in order to set up your loom, you are going to need 10 bar pins, three large bases, and four small bases for the way that I'm setting it up right now. Over here, we have an example of a loom set up. Um, it's a different way. I mean, honestly, just use as many bar pins as you have available. As long as it's five bar pins wide by two bar pins tall, your setup is okay and they just have to be aligned so I'm gonna take this large base and then I'm gonna put three bar pins as close to the center as possible and they're all facing in the same direction so my arrows are pointing to the right and these are all perfectly aligned and then we're gonna put three more bar pins as close to these bar pins as possible. Again, perfectly aligned. Okay, also the arrows are pointing in the same direction. Then I'm gonna flip this over, take a small base, put it right here as close to the large base, but as far to the right as possible. Take a small base, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, then I'm gonna take a large base, you know what? I'm gonna take a small base and put it right here, just like that. Take a small base, put it right here, as close. Then take a large base and put it right here. And then another large base and put it right here. So basically we have them zigzagging in and out and that seems to be the most secure way of setting it up. Once you do that, you can take your other bar pins and fill in the gaps in order to make that five row. Okay. And there you have it. That is the five by two. So at this point, if you have other bases, you can just take them and further secure them. You know, take them, put them on if you want. And I'm going to do that. And as you can see, that is five by two. So now the loom is set up. Okay, so now that we have our loom set up, we can start to apply bands. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure you start applying the bands with the arrow facing away from you. So as you can see right here, the arrow is pointing forward Therefore, I'm good to start. Okay, so starting from that bottom center peg, I'm taking two single blacks and connecting it to that second peg end, just like that. And once you do that, you're just gonna follow it with single bands all the way down the line. Just try to push down as you go along. Okay. 
doesn't matter. That is the end. As you can see. And then we can go all the way back to the beginning. Right there. And now what you want to do is grab one band. And starting from that center bottom peg, you're going to go up and to the left diagonally. You're going to do the same thing to the right side, up and to the right diagonally. Now, you just want to keep this black band in the center as a reference. Just treat it like a mirror. Everything that you're doing on the left side, you're going to do on the right side as well. So just keep that in mind as you're going forward. Okay. Next, you want to grab one band and go from that second leftmost peg in straight to the right. Do the same exact thing on the right side. And then you want to grab two more bands. And these diagonal bands that we put on second, we're doing the same exact thing over again. And we are, we're just doing that just to reinforce it because this is the end and I didn't want it to be a situation where it'll just snap because there's not enough bands. So I did perfect this design. All right, so once that's done, we are ready to begin our sequence. So this is the sequence. This is the start of the sequence. This is basically what we're going to be repeating over and over until we get to the end of the loom. And what we are going to do is take two bands from that second peg in, go straight forward like that. Do that on the other side. Now these diagonal bands that are coming inside, you want to pick your rainbow colors. All right, so one red on this side, from that outermost peg on the left, coming diagonally in, then outermost peg on the right, coming diagonally in, is a rainbow. Then you want to grab two blacks. Now the third peg that we're on, we're going to go straight in like that, do the same thing on the other side, just like that. Then we're going back to that center peg where that row started, and we're gonna go diagonally to the right, like that, and diagonally to the left, like that. Okay, so that is the end of our sequence. So basically it's one, two, three, four. And on the other side, one, two, three, four. All right, so we'll do that again in detail. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. And we're gonna do that again. Move one step forward. Grab six blacks and two yellows. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm just going to do that two more times before I just do it in fast forward all the way down to the end. So six blacks two lime greens, one, two, three, four, one, two, three,
I just try to make a habit of pushing down because later on when you're looping, you want to make sure that the order is correct. Six more bends. Let's get that matte color. And again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so now I'm gonna fast forward. So you can either watch this or you can just get to this time that's mentioned right here. Okay, so we're right here towards the end. This is the second to last sequence. And this is where it differs a little bit. We are going to just put one, two, Three, four, one, just like normal, two, three, four, but this is where it gets different, is now the two blacks that are going like this, that were supposed to go one, that one is coming in straight to the center, okay? Then on the other side, we're doing the mirror image straight to the center. And one, two, that color one on the outside, which would have been purple at this point, is also coming in. One, two. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is grab two bands, actually the second to last, cause we still have to do something. These two bands right here, I'm capping. So I took this and I twisted it and brought the hook back through the other loop in order to make it two cap bands. And I'm taking these two cap bands just push down on all of these so they're spaced up these two cap bands and put it on top of this peg, this top center. Okay, now once that's done, we are not done yet. We still have to go back and apply some center bands. So right here, I need to apply some center bands. I'm gonna apply two. Doesn't matter what order you put them on, as long as there's two on each and you're good at identifying which one's on top. But to make it easier, I'm just gonna do this side first and this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. That way later on when I'm looping, it's all the same. So this color sequence that I had, red, orange, yellow, lime green, turquoise, purple, that was intentional because in between red and orange in my rainbow color scheme, I have pink. So it's really red, purple, orange, neon orange. So intentionally, I 
had that color scheme set up so that my rainbow will look nicer. So basically I'm just putting two bands on each of these three center pegs following this color scheme. All right, so this is my last one. This is actually the last band that I'm applying before we start looping everything. All right. So now that we're done with that, we can actually turn our loom around. So now the arrow is is facing towards you. Okay. I'm just going to lower my camera so we get a better eye. Okay, so we are in the front of the loom now. And as you can see right here, these are the two capped bands that we applied last prior to these horizontal bands and what you want to do is get in front of all of those bands that are capped those two on the top just like that and we want to identify what band is on the top under that cap so it's going to be this one right here then next in line is this, next in line is this black, and next in line is this. So you're basically just bringing them up in the order they are right here. Kind of like a starburst, but you are just visually determining which one's on the top to bring up. So as you can see, that was the top. And get in front of both of these caps. Get that purple. Right there, bring it up, then get that next band that's on top, which is this, get around those corners, and bring it up, find the next band, which is that, bring it back to itself, which is right here, and right here, this last one is just going to go up to the center. Sometimes it gets caught right here. You can let it go by pulling. And if you look, you'll see none of these teardrop shaped bands are overlapping, which means they are independent of each other. So if that's the case, you know you didn't make a mistake. Okay? Now once you do that, you're gonna go on the outside pegs on that second row and you're going to go in front of both of those purples grab that black bring it in to that second peg just like that push down so it doesn't slip off again on this side you push down right here get in front of both of these purples grab that black right there Pull it out around that corner and then bring it over this right here. If it's caught over there, just let it go like that. And as you can see, the black is just right there. Now you want to go back to the center peg in that second row. Identify which one of these blues are on top. 
since I put all of these horizontal bands on in the same order, I know always the right one should be on top. Okay, so this blue one, I'm just bringing up and over. Okay, I'm going not in front of all the bands, just in front of all the bands up until I reach that blue. So grab that blue and bring it up and over itself. Okay, so that's pretty much the hardest part. Now I'm going on to that first sequence. And it's basically this sequence is going to get repeated over and over all the way down the end. So I'm going to do five sequences and speak while I'm doing it. Once I finish the five, just like before, I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of the um, looping and explain the clipping towards the end. So the first part of your sequence, you are going into this peg right here. The fourth one from the left or second one from the right and you're gonna go in front of all of these bands it, until you hit this band that's on top so get inside pull all of them back sometimes they're overlapped improperly I find that one of the best things to do in order to organize them right is to take your hook, go in and just kind of circle around and that will just naturally force the tension of the bands to organize themselves. Once you go in, you just pull back and you'll see, okay, now there's three bands. That one black one, one turquoise and one black. Once you're in front of all of those, you just want to grab that top one. And that's going to be the one going towards the center over here. Next one that should be in line is going to be this turquoise. You're going to go in front of all of these bands. Just grab that turquoise. Bring it up and over. Next is all in front of all the bands. And basically it's going to be the last band there. Bring it up and over okay I'm gonna show you in a different angle as well so bear with me for a second all right so I am going in front I'm doing the mirror image of that right now I'm going in front of all of these bands until I identify this band right here. So there should be only three bands left. As you can see, there is one, two, three. And that's when I know that top one right there is the one that I'm grabbing. And I'm bringing it up and over itself, just like that. And you can tell it's right because it's a teardrop shape. If it wasn't, then that means you grab the wrong end of the band. Next, I'm going in front of all of these bands and I'm just grabbing that turquoise one on the top, getting around those corners, bring it up and over itself. And that last black band is gonna be the one that I'm pulling straight up right here, just like that. Now you can see these are all teardrop shapes independent of each other, so you did it right. Now what you want to do is go back to this peg right here. Pull this up. You're going in front of all of these bands, just grabbing that black. Bring it up and over, just like that. And then you're going to go on the outside pegs, kind of like the purples. You go on the inside of both of these turquoises, grab that black from inside, bring it in just like that. Get the, in the inside of these two turquoises, bring it in just like that. And over, you push down. And then now you're going to go in here. This part gets kind of tricky because you see these two bands right here that sometimes you might either hook 
but you want to make sure you're getting in front of these two tiny stretched out blacks right here and you're grabbing the top one like I said since I put them on in the same order this one on the right is probably going to be the one on top getting in front of all of those bands except that one on top I'm grabbing it and pulling it off up and over itself doing the same thing on the other side remember get in front of these two bands up and over itself okay so I'm gonna do that one more time in this angle and then do it another time at the other angle that I was before as you can see get in front of all of those bands until you know you're right where this top band is which is right here pull it bring it over itself get in front of all those bands again as you can see this black bands on top when I know that this band is supposed to be on top so I could take my hook and kind of circle around that peg and you'll see it'll naturally organize itself and now the colored band is on top so bring that up and over then last one is going to be this one going straight and over mirror image on the other side I'm just going to do this every time because it'll, it'll definitely make things easier so I'm over here get in front of all these bands until you're on that band that's going this way this black band grab it bring it up and over itself and that colored one should be next get in front of all these bands except that color and just grab that single color band bring it up and over and now that last black one bring it straight now we're going diagonally straight back to the center behind and grabbing that black band bring it up then we're going to go on the outside pegs right here get in all of those lime greens grab that black bring it down mirror image on the other side get in these lime greens bring this black up just like that and now we're going to get inside that center peg and bring these up so remember there's this X right here that you want to be very careful to make sure you're in front of grab that top neon green and just that bring it up maybe push down okay same thing on the other side get in front of those two X's grab that neon green and bring it down okay so now I'm gonna do it at a different angle all right so again starting with this peg we're getting in front of all of those bands until you identify that top band that's going diagonally towards the center grab that see I grab more than one you only want to grab one band so again there you go there was that one that I need again I grab two it's getting kind of annoying there it is just like that bring it up then get in front of all of those and just grab that top yellow bring it up then get in front of all of those and grab that last black bring it up mirror image on the other side get in front of all of those bands let's organize them get in front of all those bands except that top black once you have it bring it up and over then get that top yellow just the top yellow bring it up and over then that last black 
up and over make sure they're all independent and they are so we did it right then we're going back to that center where that teardrop is grab that bottom black bring it up and over and the outside on the yellow bring that black in go inside mirror image on the other side bring that black up and over then go into that center peg get in front of those bands and grab that top orange bring it up and over to itself mirror image on the other side just like that okay so that was one sequence. Again, this is the start of the sequence. This is gonna be the last sequence I do with commentary before I just start fast forwarding towards the end. All right, so in front of all of these bands, make sure you're just grabbing that top one that's going this way. In front of all these bands, except that top one that's going that way. Just grabbing that. In front of all these bands, that black one's left. Just like that, mirror image. In front of all these bands until you hit that top band. And you just grab that single band. In front of all of these, except that orange going that way. Last black on that bottom, bring it up. Then go back over here, get in front of all these bands. Grab that black, bring it up, and on the outside, in, outside, in, inside, top band, out, inside, top band, out. Okay, push down. All right, so. I'm just going to continue faster. Okay, so we are getting towards the ending, and now is where the clipping will begin. So I have this sequence and one more sequence after this. Center, up 
Nova. Outside coming in. Outside coming in. In the center. Inside going out. Center. Inside going out. Going in here, and that top end, yeah, up and over, grabbing just that red, up and over, this one, up and over, mirror image, bringing that one back to itself, just the red, up and over, the bottom black, and over and the center one up and right here we're doing the same thing outside coming in just over like that outside coming in just like that inside going out just like that inside going out Just like that. And now, over here, we want to grab this one, one on top. So in here, we're just grabbing that top black. That's right there. So let me brighten it. focus so basically we did everything the same up until this point and what we're doing different now is we're starting in this peg right here but we're going in and we're just going to identify this band and just grab that one single band and bring it up and over itself same thing over here we're going inside and we're just identifying this top band, which is this one right here, getting around those corners, bring it up and over, just like that. And again, we're going inside all the way down to the bottom and grabbing that, bring it up and over. Same thing with this side. Going all the way in, in front of all those bands, grabbing that one band on the bottom, bring it up and over. And last but not least, push down here, we're going to go inside this center peg, second one in, and grab all those bands down there. So that should be two bands getting around those corners, and bring it up and over itself. Okay, and now what I do is I grab two blacks and I just put them over this peg right here, just like that. Then I go inside all of these bands on this peg, wrap it around, turn my hook in, put fish for these, bring this hook back through that loop just like that and then bring this up and over okay now I can clip these two bands right here so at this point I'm going to grab a C clip I'm just going to help out with my hook As you can see, there's four ends. I'm just going to grab these four ends with the C-clip. I have one.
right? Now that I did that, I can zoom out and I can start to release all of these bands. So this is definitely the moment of truth. Okay. Now the first thing I like to do is just take off the outside bands. You can start anywhere. I'm just gonna use my hands and pull the outside bands off. Okay, once I got the outside bands off, I could pull this right here. And starting from this side, where the arrow's facing away from you, since if we pull it off this way, chances are it's going to get caught on one of these pegs' corners. I like to pull it off starting this way. So, right here I have that C-clip, those last bands that are hanging on to the rest of those bands on this center first peg. I'm going to pull all of these bands off right here. And at this point, you could pretty much tug hard. Just like that. So there you go. That is the completed labyrinth bracelet. As you can see, it's reversible. That side's all black, and this side has kind of like stripes. And just pull it just to let it loosen up. Now you want to grab that C-clip. And just hook on these two cat bands that we had. And the easiest way to do that is to put this back onto the peg. Have it like that. Make sure it's straight and not curled in on itself and just grab those other ends with the c-clip pull it off and there you go that is the completed bracelet this is rob from justin's toys and i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you liked it make sure you like it that way more people can find out about it